Hi everyone, this is Holly from Hot Humble Pie. Welcome to my spring series. And if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, I'd love it if you click that button. For this DIY, we are working with the Dollar Tree Easter egg. And first I'm gonna steal that bunny off the back because I want him for another DIY. And I'm just taking the Dollar Tree tile, turning it upside down, tracing it, cutting it out and then I'm gonna glue it on the front of the egg. Now the one thing with these tiles is that it's only sticky on the edges, so once you cut them into any kind of shape, they're not sticky anymore. The sticker part actually falls off and you have to rely on your hot glue. Now I am using Sherbonder hot glue, which is meant for multiple surfaces like glass and plastic. I'm not sure about the Dollar Tree hot glue. I have used that for everything and never had any trouble, but I just wanna let you know I'm not using it in this video. And now I'm just applying one coat of white acrylic paint. This isn't chalk paint. On these particular DIYs, I did not care if some of the under part showed through because I was going to do another process each time. And I also thought if a little bit of the under part showed through, it might look more like metal or, I don't know, I love the way all of these came out, so it worked. Here's the colors I use for the next step. These are all Apple Barrel acrylic paint. It's some of my favorite paint to work with. If you like to use chalk paint and you want this not to be transparent at all, there is a wonderful part one, part two videos down in my description box on how to make homemade chalk paint for pennies on the dollar, so check that out. And I'm gonna go ahead and paint this first part here yellow. Now, what I did when I turned the egg upside down to trace it for this tile, I had to turn it diagonally and it ended up resulting in a beautiful placement with the center design. And then those lines where the arrow is pointing provided a nice natural separation for each color. So I took advantage of that. So now I'm painting with pink, and this is supposed to be a really super soft, very dry brush technique. You're just aiming to bring out the pretty designs from the tile and maybe leave a little bit of color behind, but as you can see, I was a little too heavy handed at the top there where the pink is. So you're gonna see me go back in there and correct it. I just paint it white before I leave the craft and then you know it dries overnight and I go back the next morning. Right now, I'm doing it, and I'm just lightly dry brushing the pink again to correct that so that everything looks nice and matched. This is some of the pink burlap ribbon from the Dollar Tree, and it was a little bit darker than I wanted for this craft. So I went ahead and did the dry brush technique on the ribbon. I don't know if you guys know you can do that. It actually creates a very soft, kind of mystical, blurry, very pretty look when you're all done. I, you just use white paint. You can use cream paint too, but it's very effective if you don't have the right color or you, or you just want a distressed look on the ribbon. It, it looks really pretty and it works really well with burlap. And I just wrapped this around my egg and glued it. I didn't wrap it all the way around to save ribbon. I only go a little bit around the back and I glue it. There you go, you can see it right there. And then I tacked the front down with a little bit of hot glue so that it doesn't wiggle. And now I'm using the Dollar Tree lace ribbon. I'm doing the exact same thing. I'm gonna glue it on either side, and then I'm gonna tack it in the front down with a little bit of hot glue again so that it doesn't move. And this is what it looks like so far. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and start adding my little embellishments. I'm using some Dollar Tree pink flowers that I found. It's really, really soft. And some of the Dollar Tree roses that come in a bag during, I think they were out during Valentine's and I think they're still out now. I saw them the other day. I don't know if it's in every Dollar Tree, but they were in the one that I was in. And I decided to keep it really simple. With this DIY, I wanted everything muted, everything soft, less is more. That's the beauty in this. I really wanted to kind of make it look like that Hobby Lobby craft or a craft you would find at Kirkland's. So I just really went light with that, not too many embellishments. And I'm doing the wooden beads. I get my wooden beads from Amazon. They are down below in my description box and we're all done. And I love this, I think it came up beautiful. For 
For the next project, I'm doing the same exact thing. I'm having to turn my tile diagonally and I'm really concentrating on getting that pretty center design as close to the middle of the carrot as I can. And I'm cutting it out, gluing it down, and then I'm gonna add some paint. That's pretty much the whole video is cutting out and gluing down and trimming and then painting. But these tiles really are a game changer. And I thought this was an original idea. I was so excited when I thought of it. And I went on Pinterest to upload some photos to my Pinterest and there it was. When I put in Easter decor right in my feed there, up came these tiles someone had done a bunny. So my DIYs don't look anything like what I saw. So hopefully I'll give you guys new fresh ideas, but they really are amazing. I love these. They make everything that you put them on look super expensive and decorative. I love them. So the first color I did was a dark orange and then I did a lighter orange. I just used pumpkin orange, I believe in the apple barrel paint. And then the lighter color was just a peachy orange. Any orange will work. It doesn't have to be these colors, but I wanted a dark undertone because a little bit of the darker orange is showing through the lighter orange and now i'm taking some antique parchment apple barrel and i'm doing dry brushing again to bring out those beautiful designs on the tile So for me, what I wanted to do with this DIY, that top just wasn't going to work. I stared at it probably for about 15 minutes and I finally went, nope. It, it would just make the top part flare out too much. So it's super easy, you guys. You just take a utility knife, mine's from the Dollar Tree, and you score back and forth. I think I only did it three times and then it cracks right off just like you saw, super simple. And I think it's going to provide a much nicer top now for the rest of the DIY. So I'm taking some Spanish moss, I'm gluing it on the top. And I do give this a little haircut to make it a little bit thinner at the top as well. And then I glue down one pick that I got from Amazon. This is Boxwood. Again, the link down below in my description box. Everything I'm using, I try to put in my description box so you guys can get it too, or at least see what I used. And I put some tape on top of that as well, just for extra, you saw me do that. I usually glue my florals down or my hangers, and then I will put tape over it while the glue's still hot so that there's an extra hold there. And I'm taking some raffia again. I got that at well, I got that on Amazon. I couldn't find it in the Dollar Tree. Um, I don't know if, if all of you are noticing there's no raffia in the Dollar Trees, but I hit three Dollar Trees. There was no raffia, so we ordered it. Really happy with the one that I got. And then I'm taking and making some bows now. Now, I do have a video, excellent video, that's time-stamped. I pretty much include every bow I've ever made, including some more that I haven't made really nice fancy bows called 10 easy Christmas bows. It's down below in my description box. If you want to check out how to make my bows, that video covers everything. Again, it's time stamped, So you can just go to the bow that you're interested in and click on the little time and it'll take you right to it. So I'm gluing down my raffia bow. And all I did with this other bow is just use the Dollar Tree um, burlap ribbon with the lace and the Dollar Tree gingham print one that's orange and I glued two loops together and then crisscrossed them. And now I'm adding the Dollar Tree little bunny because I think this is so cute. It's a great theme with the carrot. And that's it. We're gonna glue a hanger on the back using some nautical rope. And I hate to say I always love my DIYs. I mean, some DIYs I don't love as much as I love others. But thanks to these tiles, I can honestly say all of these in this video came up stunning. <music> What you're looking at here are three tiki masala jars from Aldi's and those are great. You put them in the dishwasher and the label comes right off in one complete piece so it doesn't break up in pieces and there's no goo left behind at all on the jar. Super easy to do. So that's what I did. And these tiles, as you saw, they have four quadrants with this little design in it. And I had an idea that I would like to put this design on the jar. So that was going to be a bit challenging since these are plastic tiles and they, you know, they're not bendy. They're, they bend, but they're kind of resistant. 
So I'm going to go ahead and cut them down. I'm going really slow here so you can see exactly what line I chose to cut at. And for those of you that love to blend crosses in with your Easter decor, these definitely could pass for a very pretty cross. They kind of have a medieval look or an Italian look, maybe even French country. They're very pretty. Now I'm using tape to glue them down because these definitely will not stick to any kind of shiny surface, even with the strongest hot glue. I think even with a regular glue, they might be resistant. So you definitely need something down on the jar. Now I didn't have any duct tape, but if I did it again, I probably would use duct tape. They did hold and they're holding just fine, but I'm just giving you guys, you know, a better tip, I guess, if you don't want to deal with them coming off. A stickier tape with a nice sticky surface would work really, really good. If you only have masking tape, you can use masking tape, it does work. And I'm just covering all of the masking tape. So I put it in a cross shape and then I go crisscross as well to make sure that there's plenty of surface for these tiles to stick down on. They do get hot. They conduct heat, so be careful when you're pressing them. I did burn myself when I was doing these. So all of them are done right there. That's what they look like. And I'm just going to put some white acrylic paint on. Again, this isn't chalk paint. It's nothing fancy. It's just acrylic paint. I don't mind if they look a little streaky because I like that distressed look. If you want a real solid white color, you could you know, turn to chalk paint or even milk paint or a latex paint would give you a more solid look. Or you could do two coats of the acrylic paint. Now I'm using the color Nutmeg Brown to bring out this design. I just thought that looked really kind of just earthy and just perfect for what I was trying. This is the look I was trying. I had a vision and it definitely came out the way I was envisioning. I'm also taking my brush and making sure I'm doing the edges of that tile as well to make sure they pop see that and you can see it I thought that looked really nice now to make sure that these stayed on my jar I go ahead and take some of the Dollar Tree twine I put a dot of hot glue in the front and I wrap it around just twice and then I glue it back in the front again because we're going to go ahead and put some front embellishment so you won't see this I actually loved the way that looked but if you use duct tape and a stronger industrial glue to hold the tiles down. You probably wouldn't have to do this step. I like it. I may have done it anyway, even if I had used a stronger glue. It looks really pretty, but I'm just letting you know you don't have to do that step if you don't want to. And now I'm taking some of the Dollar Tree twine that is decorative. We just got those packages at my Dollar Tree. I was really surprised and pleased. They come in different designs. I'm using the top one for the top part of the lid. So on the on the little panel there, there's three rows. I'm using the top one for the lid here, and then I'm gonna use the bottom one for the bows in a minute here. And we're just doing the hot glue in the back. Everything's going in the back of these jars because you're not gonna see the back when they're up in my home. So now you can see what I was talking about. See how there's three different designs. The top one is on the top of the jar and the bottom one is going to be the loops for the bow. And I just went with where it naturally bended from being wrapped around that cardboard as my measurement. So that's the measurement for the loops. I glued them together, I'm going to cut them, and I made two for each jar. So for this part here, I'm just going to take each loop and glue them at a crisscross, so kind of like an X, I guess, to make my bow on the front. So I'm using the little Dollar Tree bunnies again. They come in a package. I held them up to these jars and the front of them with the tail is too dark. It just kind of got lost, I thought, in the craft. I wanted them to pop a little bit more. So I took the tails off of them and I turned them upside down. And now we have the light cut. See how much you can how much more you can see them? So they would be visible, I guess, from far away and you'd be able to tell they're bunnies. So I'm just using the Walmart lavender now. All I do with the lavender is I just bend that stem at the bottom and then it springs, you know, it wants to come straight again. So it springs out and it holds flowers nice and tight in jars without having to use any foam. And we're all done.
This next one is my husband's favorite. Now the thing with these tiles too is they're only sticky on the edge. So when you cut the edges off, the sticker part just falls off. And I'm after the paper there because I don't have any white butcher paper or wax paper. I actually don't have any paper in the house right now that I could use for this. And I didn't want to use computer paper because it would tear. And I noticed when I was working with this tile that the paper on the back was super, super strong. And I knew I'd be able to bend it and press my pen into it and make a nice little template for this tray. So I bent the template in half and that's just to make sure that the edges around the corners are exactly even. So we have symmetry on both sides of the template. Now tracing this was a little tricky. I had to kind of rub back and forth with my pen because it's bumpy, <laughs> but it works and I got it done and now I'm just cutting it out. And just a reminder, in case you missed it in the early part of the video, this is Sure Bonder glue. It's made for multiple surfaces. It's just stronger than the normal glue. So this is holding really, really well. Everything I made is holding really, really well. And well, you, I, you could actually use the duct tape trick or the masking tape trick with this as well. It would work. So if you don't have stronger hot glue than Dollar Tree hot glue, you could absolutely use the duct tape trick. It would work just fine. So I went ahead and painted this with acrylic white paint, and now I'm doing the antique parchment to bring out the design. I decided to keep this in a nice light Easter, light and bright for Easter or a French country. This tray is so pretty. You could do so many different things with it. If you don't glue anything down and you just kind of tape everything on, you could make this work for different seasons and different seasonal decor. It's just a super, super high-end looking tray when you do this. Now I started off putting wax on this little bunny and it wasn't working out very well. So I turned to Burnt Umber from Apple Barrel Paint and painted it and painted it until it kind of dried on purpose and some of the paint was sliding and moving around because I wanted him to look distressed and kind of have markings on him more like a bunny would because bunnies don't have just a solid streaky, you know, I just didn't want it to be streaks of paint. I wanted it to have exactly how it came out there to the right. So it worked. And I'm just taping this ribbon on the back because like I said, I may change this out for some other decor or other seasons in my home. And I didn't want to commit, well, as much as possible, I do end up having to glue the flowers down <laughs> because they weren't staying, but I can always touch up just the edge of the tray, no problem. Here I go, I'm gluing them down. And I'm using the boxwood from Amazon and a rose from Walmart. Those are very, very beautiful. So the rose I'm gluing on the left-hand side and the right-hand side there, those come from the Dollar Tree. And I decide I want a little bit more greenery, some vines behind in the back. So I just tape those down. I'm trying to use as much tape as possible. I do glue the hanger down, but we're all done. I'm using the Dollar Tree Wooden Bunny for this next DIY, and I just traced the tile out. I did remove a little wooden tail that he had on the back side there, and I end up gluing him where he's facing to the left. I don't know what it was. I was going to do the back side of him, but I just didn't like the way he looked facing to the right. And I think it's because I saw something very similar where I actually got my inspiration for these tiles came from Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby has a bunny with these kind of designs on that look almost identical. And I thought, oh my gosh, you could do that with a Dollar Tree tile. And there it is right there. So there's these little pieces on the front of him that are kind of 3D on his ears. Don't be intimidated by that at all. It still sticks just fine. If anything, it actually makes it look more expensive because it kind of makes his ears look thicker. Like they kind of puff out a little bit. So it looks like a metal piece. It looks really awesome. So don't worry about that at all. You can go ahead and glue it down. You probably do need to take the tail off though in order to do it. Even if you want to put the tail back on, it'll be in the way if you don't. So I'm just using some Dollar Tree ribbon here. It's some of the pink burlap again, some Easter ribbon that I found in the Easter section that has very distinct Easter markings, which I thought would be so cute for Mr. Bunny, and some of the gingham print. I 
I made a bunch of loops and I tied them together with the twine. That's it. And we're just shaping the bow. We're gonna stick it on the front. I also made a little bow out of the raffia. I'm gonna glue that on top and I'm gonna glue some boxwood around his neck to add a little bit of greenery. I really want this to look like the Hobby Lobby one, so he does need a stand. This is a piece of wood that actually came inside a shelving unit that I bought. There was just random wood in it, about four pieces, so I have four of these, and I try to use everything I have. I'm using some of the towering blocks to glue at the back. I do three all together. I just stack them on top and glue them against his back. So there's a wooden tail. I just wanted to show it to you so you can see what it looks like and what it would look like if you wanted to use it. You could paint it silver and maybe put some pearlescent on it and it would look pretty or white if you do a white bunny. Um, like me, but I'm going with the Dollar Tree pom-pom. I think that's so so cute for his little tail And I'm gonna paint my base white as well Lastly, I decide to use a little Dollar Tree pearl They come in bags to cover the rest of the twine and this is how he came out this next DIY I'm using three of the Dollar Tree wooden eggs and one of their silver trays I love those silver trays they're actually very heavy when you not well they're not super heavy but they have weight to them and they feel like good quality and when you fix them up they look so nice and they feel nice I love working with them so I'm doing now what I've been doing the entire video I'm just tracing cutting gluing it down we're gonna make three eggs and again I was really careful about the design I chose an area of the tile and I wanted that design you see right there centered right in the egg so those crosses those like lines there kind of crisscross in a cross shape on each egg next I'm gonna go ahead and take the apple barrel white paint and give this tray uh, one coat now I was surprised because I really thought because I didn't rough it up or sand it up the paint would chip when I did my next step but it didn't I'm really really pleased it held up so you know just passing that on so you guys know let it dry thoroughly of course and these are the two colors I'm gonna work on with the eggs so we're gonna dry brush them I'm gonna do two pink ones and one purple one these are my favorite paint sticks they're down below in my description box they're off of Amazon for those of you that watch my channel you know I love working with these because they don't have that weird little shape at the top they're just straight so I took them downstairs and I cut them with a handsaw I just taped them together with masking tape and I used a nail file to file the edges so there's no sharp little splinters and I'm taking watered down wax you can use any wax you want you could even use watered down brown paint for this next part now this is the part I was talking about where it stood up because this is very watery and you know how wax gets kind of sticky as it dries I was worried that the acrylic paint would lift off and it didn't it held its own so I was really really pleased about that look how beautiful that came out we're just giving it a quick blow dry and now I'm taking the antique parchment color and we're gonna do a dry brush over the top of that and we end up with a beautiful wood look I absolutely I'm saying I love these trays they are so fun to work with that looks like a solid heavy it feels like a heavy wood frame now or tray so pretty and I took the paint sticks I also gave them a dry brush as well I wanted those to be lighter so that the eggs will pop but I wanted it to look like real wood underneath and the natural color of the paint stick was a little bit too light so I'm using this little pink zigzag ribbon here I don't know if there's a word for this kind of ribbon I didn't look I'm sorry but I thought it looked very Easter like and I'm just gluing them in the center and I made these are all dollar uh, tree ribbon as well and I made two purple polka dot white polka dot bows and one pink bow with white polka dots put them on the opposite color eggs now I'm just gluing the paint sticks inside so it looks like the whole tray is wood 
I also glued some pink little flowers in the center of those bows and I'm gonna glue the eggs down on top of the wood and we're all done. had so much fun making these DIYs. If you enjoyed today's video and had fun too, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up, comment, share my video. It really does help me so much and I thank you guys more than I can say. And as always, until the next video, breathe deep, fret not, and do things that make you happy.